Hello students, we come to our fourth lesson of the second semester of preparatory two. So our lesson for today is four countries, four countries. Who can tell me the meaning of four countries? What does it mean here? Me. Yes, uh, Aisha. Um, uh, it means Arbadul. Yes, very oh, good. So, yes, so that means today, inshallah, we will talk about India, Oman, and also France, I think, and Japan, okay? About four countries. So we'll take a description about four countries like industry and what they can do, what are the people do for living and so on, okay? So our lesson for today is four countries. Could you please open page 55 of your course book? Okay, so A, section A, read about these countries and answer the questions. So we have four questions here in this page. We are going to answer these questions. India, India is a big country with a huge population. About 1,000 million people live there. Agriculture is the most important part of the economy. The people are mainly farmers and they grow rice, tea, cotton, and many other things. There is also quite a lot of industry. They make cars, buses, and clothes. Visitors to India can do lots of things. They can ride elephants, look at wild animals, and climb mountains. Oman, Oman is not very big, and it has quite a small population. The oil industry is important, but agriculture is more important. Most people work as farmers or fishermen. The farmers grow fruit and vegetables, Visitors to Oman can buy jewelry and visit interesting old forts. They can also go swimming, sailing, and climbing. Okay, now I'm going to repeat it. India, India is a big country with a huge population. India is a very big country with a huge population. That means it has many people living there. About 1,000 million, so 1,000 million. What we mean by 1,000 million here? We mean billion. That means 1 billion people live there. So they live in India. That's why we say that they have Indian, they have a huge population or India has a huge population. Agriculture is the most important. So this is agriculture, is the most important part of the economy. So of the economy of India, the people are mainly farmers. So they are farmers and they grow rice, tea, cotton, and many other things. There's also quite a lot of industry. So that means they have factories, making things. They make cars, buses, and clothes. Visitors to India can do lots of things. They can ride elephants, look at wild animals, and climb mountains. So who can read this text here about India? Who can read it? Okay, yes, yes, Aisha. India, India is a big country with a huge population. About 1,000 million people live there. Agri agriculture is, is the most important part of the economy. The people are mainly uh, farmers and they grow raised and uh, tea, cotton, and uh, many other things. There is also quite and uh, a lot of things. There is 
Uh, okay, and lot of yes, a lot, lot of, of industry. industry. Yes, they make cars, buses, and clouds. Visitors to India can do lots of things. They can ride elephants, look at wild animal animals, and climb mountains. Yes, very good. Okay, yes, very good. Who can read it again? Yes, Rubin, Arwa. Who can read this text about India? Okay, we say India is a big country. India is a big country with a huge population. Population, what does it mean here, population? That's okay. Yes, very good. About 1,000 million people left there. 1,000 million. We say that this is a billion. One billion people live there. So they live in India. Agriculture, what does it mean here? Agriculture? Zira. Yes, zira is the most important part of the economy. Is the most important part. Al-juz al-aham, al-aktar ahamiya, al-juz al-aktar ahamiya. للاقتصاد. للاقتصاد. So we mean yes, economy of India. الاقتصاد India. The people are mainly farmers. The people are mainly farmers. So we say that India have a has a huge population. We said that the people who are living in India are mainly farmers. That means the most of the people who are living in India are mainly farmers يعني بشكل رئيس يكونوا مزارعين and they grow rice rice what does it mean here رز yes tea شاهي yes cotton القطن yes very good and many other things yes واشياء أخرى yes yes واشياء أخرى there is also quite a lot of industry Yes, yes, Sinat. They make cars, buses, and clothes. So they make cars, cars, buses, yes, yes, and clothes. Yes, very good. Visitors to India can do lots of things. Visitors to India can do lots of things. So if one of you went to India, that means he is a visitor. Visitors, Azwar, to India. Azwar, Limashi, li India, can do lots of things. That means they can do many things there in India. They can ride elephants. Yes. Look at wild animals. Uh, yes, al yes. and climb mountains. Yes, very good. Now we move to the second country, which is Oman. So Oman is not very big and it has a quite a small population. So it's not like India. We say that India is a big country. So Oman is not a very big country. We say that it is a small country and it has a quite a small population. So it has a small population. Not a huge population like India. But agriculture is more important. Sorry, the, the oil industry is important. So the oil industry, yani is, more, is important. Mm -hmm. But agriculture, what does it mean, agriculture? We is talk there, about, uh, yes, very good, is more important. Mm -hmm. Yes, that means agriculture is more important than oil industry in Oman. Most people work as farmers or fishermen. So most people are working as farmers and fishermen. Look here, people are in the sea and they are riding a, a boat, I think, yes. And they are fishermen. What does it mean, fishermen here? 
Yes, very good. The farmers grow fruit and vegetables. The farmers grow fruit and vegetables. Yes, very good. So the farmers grow fruit and vegetables. Visitors to Oman can buy jewelry and visit interesting old forts. So visitors to Oman can buy jewelry. Yes, and visit interesting old forts. So this is a fort, al -qala. So they can buy jewelry and visit interesting old forts. Forts real al So this is a fort here. Qala. So this is a fort. They can also go swimming, sailing, and climbing. يستطيعون السباحة والسيلينغ ركوب الهارب والكلايمينغ التسلق. Yes, very good. So here we have four questions. Question number one: Which country is bigger, India or Oman? So which is big, India or Oman? About the second question: What do the people grow in India? What can visitors buy in Oman? Which country would you prefer to visit, and why? So now we will move. So these questions, one by one. What about the first one? Which country is bigger, India or Oman? India. India. Yes, India, because we say that India is a big country. Yes, India is a bigger, bigger than Oman. What about the second one? What do people grow in India? So we say rice, tea, they cotton, do rice and tea. also, yes, many other things. Yes, we say rice, yes, tea, cotton, and many other things. What about the third one? What can visitors buy in Oman? Yes, we say jewelry. Yes, what about the fourth one? Which country would you prefer to visit and why? So this is your answer. So this is your answer. I don't know about you. Yes, which country would you prefer to visit? Yes, just tell us the name. Yes, what about you, Aisha? Oman. Yes, okay, Oman. What about you, Rubin? India. Yes, India. Arwa? Batul? Which country would you prefer to visit? Would you like to visit India or would you like to visit Oman? I like to visit in India. Okay, so you, you would like to visit India. Yes, very good. Okay, now we will move to the next. So we have Japan and France. So Japan is not a very big country. So it's like Oman. We say that it's not a very big country, but it has a large population. So it's not a very big country, but it has a large population. So it has large population like India, and it's not a very big country like Oman. Industry is very important. So industry is very important in Japan. So Japan makes cars, computers, and also kinds of uh, and all and all kinds of things for the home. The farmers grow rice and vegetables. Japan is very interesting for visitors. They can see old temples and beautiful gardens. They can also go shopping in big modern stores. France is a big country, but the population is quite small. So it's a big country like India and the population is quite small like Oman. Industry and agriculture are both important. They make cars, plants and grow a lot of fruit and vegetables. So they make cars and planes and grow a lot of fruit and vegetables. France is, is famous for its shops and restaurants. It also has many interesting museums and old buildings. Some people say that France is the most beautiful country in Europe. Okay, so Japan, Japan is not a very big country. So we say it's not big, but it has a large population. So it has a large population. So it has many people living there. So like India and China. 
and also Egypt. Industry is very important. So industry, what does it mean here? Industry now. Yes, very good. It's very important. Japan makes cars, so they make cars, computers, and all kinds of kinds of things for the home. The farmers grow rice and vegetables. What does it mean, rice and vegetables? Rice. Yes, Japan is very interesting for visitors. So Japan is very interesting for visitors. Yes, very good. They can see all temples and beautiful gardens. Yes, you said it before, Aisha. Yes, and Ma'abid. Yes, and beautiful gardens. Yes, they can also go shopping in big modern stores. Yes, so, yes, they can go shopping. They also, they can also go shopping. يستطيعون التسوق in big modern stores. What about France? France is a big country, but the population is quite small. Industry and agriculture are both important. What does it mean here? Industry and agriculture are both important. Yes, are both. Yes, Muhammad. They make cars and planes. Yes, and grow a lot of fruit and vegetables. Yes, famous. Sorry, France is famous for its shops and restaurants. Yes, and restaurants. Yes, uh, and yes, al -matam. yes, very good. It also has many interesting museums and old buildings. Yes, very good. Some people say that France is the most beautiful country in Europe. Some people say, yes. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. So what about the questions we have here? We have three questions. We have five, six, and seven. Which country has the biggest population? Japan or France? Japan. Yes, Japan. Yes, Japan has more population than France. Okay. What about the second one? So what can visitors see in Japan? So we said all temples and they can beautiful, see yes, all, all, yes, and beautiful gardens. Temples and beautiful gardens. Yes, very good. What about the seventh one? What is France famous for? So we say it's shops France. and also yes. restaurants. Restaurants. Yeah, yes, so it is shops and restaurants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. So do you have any word here that you don't know it is meaning? Or everything is clear here? It's clear. Yes. yes, very good. Okay, very good. Okay, now could you please open your course book, sorry, your workbook on page 51. Unit 5, lesson 4, page 51 of the workbook. So we have to read pages 55 and 56 of your course book and write notes. So we have read pages 55 and also 56. And now we can answer this question. So here we have the name of the country. We have India, Oman, Japan, and also France. Then we have the size of the country. We can say whether big, it's a big country, not very big country. So, or we can say it is big or it's small country. Then we move to the second one, which is the size of population. So we can, for example, say huge, we can say small or right or uh, large or also quite small. Then we move to the third one, what they can grow. So they can grow rice, tea, cotton, fruits, vegetables, and so on. 
Then we can we have to move to the fourth one. What they make or produce. يعني ماذا يص يصنعون وماذا ينتجون. We can say, for example, cars, clothes, jewelry, oil, computers, cars, and uh, things for whom, for example, and planes, and also cars. Okay. So now we will start from India. So the size of the country. Who can tell us about India? Yes. India, so India is a big country. Yes, it's a big country. What about the size of, of population? So we say that it is a huge. Huge, so huge, huge, yes, huge population. What they grow, they grow rice, rice tea, tea, and, and also rice and tea and many other uh, Yes, and many other things. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. What about the fourth one? What they make or produce? So we said that they cars, produce cars, they cars buses, 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 and also and clothes. clothes. And yes, clothes. cars, buses, and also clothes. What about Uman? Who can tell us? Uh, small about country Uman? is not very big, big Good. country. So it's not very big. So it's not a very big country. What about the population? We say it's quite small. So it has small population. What what they grow? What they grow? We said that they grow fruit. They grow fruit, fruit and, and, vegetables. and vegetables. Yes, they grow fruit and vegetables. So what they can make and produce. Um, so, yes, we said oil and jewelry. Oil. Yes. oil and jewelry. Yes, jewelry. Yes, very good. What about Japan? It's Japan not a not very not big country. country. Yes, it's, it's country. not a very big country. So, the population, we say it's large. So, we said that it's not a very big country, but it has a large population. So, we can say it's not a big, uh, very big country and it has large population. So what they grow? They grow they rice and vegetables. Yes, rice and vegetables. What they make and produce? We said that they make cars, computers, cars, and computer, some things computer, for the home. Yes, cars, computers, and things for the home. What about France? France is a big country. country. Yes, it's a big country. What about the size of, of population? We say it's like small. Oman. Small. Yes, it's quite small. What they grow? Small, small. So what they can grow? They, they grow, grow a lot fruit, of they grow fruit and, vegetables. and vegetables. So what they make or produce? So they make cars, cars and, and planes. planes. Yes, very good. Planes. Okay. Is this question clear? Yes, it's yes. clear. Yes, very good. Now we will move to the second question, which is B. Okay, use your notes in exercise A to write about four countries, about the four countries. So we, we have many notes from exercise one. Now we have to write about the four countries. So I have four sentences, each one about country. The first one for India, the second one for Oman, the third one for Japan, and the fourth one for France. I need four students. The first student will read the first one, the second student will read the second, and the third student will read the third, and the fourth student will read the fourth. Okay, so we have Fatima. Okay, number one, yes. Aisha, number two. Yes, who's going to be number three? Mm. Yes, Maria, number three. Yes. Can you confirm that? Me. Are you going to read? Yes, me. Uh, Rubin, Rubin or Maria. Okay, Rubin, number three. Who's going to be number four? Arwa, Arwa Adil, Maria. Okay, Fatima, can you start? Yes. Number one, yes. India is a big country and it has a huge population. Yes, very good. So India is a big country and it has a huge population. What about the second one? Yes, Aisha. Oman, Oman. is a small country. With Oman, a, with ah, a, Oman yes. is a small country yes. with a, a quite a small population. Yes, very good. Oman is a small country with a quite small population. Very good. 
Rubin. Yes, number three. Japan is not very big, but it ha it has a big population. Yes, Aisha. Number four. Aisha Abdurrahman. France is a big country, but the population is quite, quite small. Yes, very good. France is a big country, but the population is quite small. Yes, very good. Now we will move to the third question. Read and answer. Read about Adil and Noura. Which countries on pages 55 and 56 of your course book would they like to visit? Okay, we'll start by Adil here. Adil likes animals and climbing mountains. He doesn't like looking at old buildings or shopping. He would like to visit, so we have a country here. Noura likes shopping and old buildings. See, she doesn't enjoy visiting gardens or doing any kind of sport. She also likes good food. So here we can say she would like, for example, to visit which country? Okay, so we have a country to write it here. So about this question, so you have to write. So you have Adil and Noura. So from their conversation, you have to guess which country. For example, they like animals and climbing mountains. So in some countries, we don't have animals and we don't have, you can't climb mountains. Did you understand what I mean? Yes. Yes, yes okay. I understand. Yes, See, read and answer. Read about Adel and Nora. So we can read about Adel and Nora in this line and this line here. So we have to guess. Who's going to answer this question? Adil likes animals and climbing mountains. He doesn't like looking at old buildings. So he doesn't like, look carefully here. He doesn't like looking at all things. That means we can't say any country that has old buildings and also shopping. So we have to choose a name of a country I think it is India. Okay. India. Yes, it is India. Yes, India. it is India. Okay. Noura likes shopping and also and old buildings. We say that France it ha it uh, it has people can shopping there and also it old has buildings. yes uh, France has old buildings. That means we can say Noura would like to visit. France, okay. France. She doesn't enjoy visiting gardens. We talk about other countries that have that has card that have uh, gardens and also doing any kind of sports. She also likes good food. So we can say she would like to visit. Yes, France. France. Okay. France. Yes. And what about you, like? And what about you? So, for mm -hmm. example, I like. England. Okay, I like. Okay. Um, yes. I like to visit. I like England computers. And I like. Yes, computers. I like computers. And yes, shopping. I, okay, and shopping. I don't like. I don't like animals. Yes, I don't like animals. Or, or climb mountains. Yes, climbing mountains. Climb mountains. Yes, climbing mountains. Yes, climbing mountains. Climbing mountains. Yes, climbing mountains. Yes, very good. Yes, very good. Okay. Is this question clear? Yes. Okay, now yes, we will move. Clear. Yes, we will move to our last question, which is about adjectives. Okay, which is about adjectives. Read about adjectives. Then read and complete the sentences. So we can read this first. Then we have some sentences that we have to write the adjectives here. Okay. Read about adjectives, then read and complete the sentences. So we have big, bigger, biggest. What they mean here? Big, bigger, biggest. What is the difference? Yes, very good. Yani yes, Rubin. Yes, Rubin. Thank you so much. So big, we can say Libya is a big country. 
we can say Libya is bigger than Egypt. We can say Libya is the biggest. The biggest, yes. Yes, Libya kabira, Libya akbar min Masr, Libya al akbar. Okay, so big, bigger, biggest. Then we have beautiful, most beautiful, and most beautiful. Then we have important, more yeah. important, and most important. Most important. So, if the if the word if the word is short if the word is short it has one syllable and the word فيها مقطع واحد we add er and est if the word it has more one syllable so like here it has three and more syllables so يعني لو الكلمة لها ثلاثة مقاطع وأكبر يعني نضيف more or most here we have beautiful beautiful it has three syllables so we can say more beautiful and most beautiful so we can say libya is a beautiful country libya is more beautiful than tunisia and libya is the most beautiful, the most beautiful. and important more important and most, most important. important okay who can tell us the meaning of beautiful most beautiful and most beautiful here what's the meaning yes more Jamil. beautiful here Ajmal. 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 Uh, yes. uh, okay, most Ajmal. beautiful. Ajmal. Yes, Ajmal. Ajmal. Important, more important. Yes, most important. Yes, most important. Yes, most important. Yes, very good. Now we have to answer this question here. Okay. Yes. Um, who is going okay. to? We. I need five students. I need five students. Fatima will be number one. Aisha Abdurrahman will be number two. Who is going to be number okay. three? Okay. Muhammad Al Manawi. Muhammad Al Manawi will be number three. Yes. Who is number four? Your name, Rubin. Yes. Yes, Rubin, number four. What about number five? Who's going to be number five? Yes, number five. Okay, we will start by from Fatima. Yes, Fatima. Fatima, number one. Okay. Okay. The most interesting building in Libya is the Guji Mosque. Yes, very good. What about the second one? The most important industry in Libya is the oil industry. Yes, very good. What about the third one, Rubin? At home, I am more help, helpful than my sister. Yes, very good. What about number four? Yes, Muhammad al Manawi. See, uh, climbing mountains more uh, dig, diggers dangerous than yes. uh, jet skiing. Yes, jet skiing. Yes, very good. What about the fifth one? Yes, Aisha. The uh, the most beautiful buildings in Libya are Tripoli. Yes, are in Tripoli. The most beautiful buildings in Libya are in Tripoli. So thank you so much for attending the class.